your favorite Bronx site, Nova Church. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for tuning in wherever you are, whether you're here in the United States or you're around the world. I hope that we can have some words to help inspire, motivate, and encourage to live a, a happy, healthy lifestyle. Now, check this out. What if I told you you have not been living in reality? What if I told you everything you think is real is not what it seems? Now follow me. Envision you're in a bubble, right? A physical bubble, a protective bubble. And on the inside of this bubble are pictures. And on the right side, you see things like your beliefs, your religion, your political leanings, right? And on your left-hand side, there's things that's familiar to you things that allow you to be comfortable right and feel comfortable and safe now what would happen if we remove this bubble right rather we popped it what would happen two things the first thing that would happen well you would feel like your soul was ripped out you will feel hurt. You will feel defensive. You would, these are the feelings you would feel, right? But after the dust settles, you will become the best human being you can possibly be. You will be the best version of yourself, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, when you live in this protective bubble, certain information will not make it in become defensive if I say anything about your religion or your political leanings you will become angry but imagine a world where you didn't get angry off of people disagreeing with you <gasps> how would that make you feel what if I questioned your faith would that make you angry now would your God want you to be angry would my God want me to be angry no we should have understanding we should have conversations we should be the best versions of ourselves because we allow new different information to come in and then we can make a balanced opinion we are at a time where people are more divided than ever and the reasons are real simple it's a choice it's a choice to be part of a tribe have you ever heard of tribalism? Everyone wants to be within their tribe and do everything that the other tribe members feel uh, makes them part of the tribe and appease everyone else. And you can't offend anyone else in your tribe because you will be pushed out your tribe. Now, I love to be part of a tribe. I have different groups I'm involved with, but you have to come to a place where even if something is questioning something in your heart you should open it up to allow information to come in and you could become a better version of yourself and over time i have been able to educate myself and lift myself up instead of having the idea that i know everything because i don't and when i popped my own bubble i started to truly experience life and not let things offend me and be more chill, more cool, calm and collective in times where there's adversity. I'm telling you this because if you're in a bubble, I want you to pop yours. Just pop it here and there. You don't have to pop it all the time, but sometimes if something is bothering you, pop that bubble and start to see the reality of things. Now, since we're talking about popping bubbles, when you pop your bubble, you become uncomfortable and i want to invite everyone out to come run with your boy at bronx so we run every tuesday now some people oh i'm not comfortable running exactly you can push yourself past you can push yourself past certain limitations that you think you have just because once you get past that uncomfortable place and you come to a place of comfort you have reached a new level so i want to invite you out 
to our running group, Bronx Soul, which meets in the Bronx every Tuesday at 6.30 on 153rd Street in the Grand Concourse at France Eagle Park. And I hope to see you on a Tuesday. Pop that bubble. See y'all Tuesday. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. And also, I want you to send me your comments. Send me your ideas. I'm looking for guests, potential guests. So if you want to be a guest, we could have an interview. We could have some dialogue on Skype. We could also set up an interview. But these are things I'm looking to do. But make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and all of that. And let's continue this conversation. Stay motivated. Stay blessed. And I'll holla at y'all later. We out.